So welcome guys, today I'll be taking you guys on how to check your result portal using the Path View Center app. So the first thing we have to do is to go to our Play Store on our phones. So you have to go to your Play Store, then on your search bar, you type for Path View Center app. So you click on it. So it's going to bring out the app. It's called Path View Center app by Path ICT Department. So you click on it, then you install. You install. So you're able to recognize the app using the Path logo there. So you install the app directly on your phone. It may take some time, so you can patiently wait for it as it's been installed. On this, so it's about twelve. 0.72 MB, a little space that your phone can easily take. So the installation process has begun so you just wait for it for the installation to be complete then after that we can open or run the application on our phones so immediately you are done with the installation you come to your home screen you should find the path you center app already installed so next we have to run So on the application you can find about five different portals there. You have the registration portal, the alien portal, and the student portal, the staff portal, and the departmental mail portal. But the one that is related to the student and um, majorly to which are the registration portal, the alien portal and the student portal. Now for the registration portal is if you are registering to get your magic number. You use the registration portal, which I guess you should have done that by now. And the e-learning portal is where you online tests, online exams, online classes are conducted by your department. You can find all course content on the e-learning portal. While the student portal is specifically designed for the student, where they can access the bio data and some other information pertaining to there also, also the results um, details you can find on the student portal. So we'll be looking at the student portal for now. So what you have to do is to click on the student portal. So you can see you can see a welcome screen. This is this is access to student academic performance report. It's only meant for student in section. So when you are out of section, you can't use this portal. It's only for students that are in session presently. So your default password is your son name. Why your matric number is your username. Your matric number is your username. So your matric number the PAF is in capital letters. So let's go on and see how it's going to log us into our details. So on the matric number, which is the username, you are going to use path. slash the way your matric number format is being spelled out so you write it the same way if it's 2023 that is your year of training or if it's 2024 you put 2024 and so on like that so that is 2023 so 2023 slash so this is your unique id now either 001 002 100, 099, 098. So, the matric number I'm using is 006. Now, on the password area, I'm going to use my son name 
encapsulator encapsulator so I click on remember me then sign in so if your details are correct it should log you into your admission portal so you can see the details of this particular student here yeah. so everything you need to know about the student all details the department the surname other names town and the religion phone numbers they are all on this student portal now immediately you sign into your student portal the first thing you have to do because originally the password you use is a default password so it can be easily access anyone that knows your magic number that knows your something you can easily access your portal and do some other things there so what you have to do is to change password so you come to change password so you can see it's bringing new password then confirm password so it's best to use a password you can easily recognize um, you can easily remember um, at any point in time you can use them to access your portal so immediately you type in the new password you retype that same new password on the confirm password space here then you update so that is the first thing you have to do while logging into your portal for the first time so here you can find your forms the online form you filled you can find the details there you can also print the form but we are not doing that now so our main focus is on the results so we come to our results my results menu so under my result menu you can find the list of the course you took for the first semester and for also the second semester so you can find your the course code the course title the unit some courses are three units some courses are two unit course your departmental course are always three units while your general courses are always two units then you can find your cs score your exam score you also find there then your point your gp point the you find it there and your grade and the semester in that first that first or second semester then you can see the section which is either 2023 or 2024 or 2025 or so on like that so here you find your cgpa which is used to to determine your overall performance for the semester so for you to have a maybe a soft copy that you want to send to your parents or to your sponsors so you can easily come to your pdf then you click pdf so once you click pdf it's going to download a pdf format of your results showing the course details so you can have them stored on your phone in case if you want to easily access it to send to someone for them to see your performance for the first semester or for the second semester um, section so once you are done checking your results for you to sign out you click on your profile picture here then you see sign out so you can see it has been signed out so in case you want to log in use your matric number also in capital letter paf slash your section either 23 or 24 or 20.5 or 2026 and so on like that then your unique id either 006 001 002 100 01 201 like that so remember once you change your password you have to use the new password but if this is your first time logging into your into your portal you have to use your surname capital letter before you can access the portal 